Welcome to the new building! It's finally here and we'll be all ready to go when you're back in September. Shall we go inside? This is what you see when you come in the main entrance of the new building. Behind me here is the central, which is actually full of seating. And it's all underground heating, so that means that it's going to be nice and warm when you're sitting down with your cup of tea, chilling out. On the right hand side here from the main entrance is the new one shopper. A little bit more work has to be done before you come back in September. Full of sandwiches, coffee, tea. All your books are going to be here this year as well and uh, you're going to be able to buy some Mycin merchandise into here instead of the SU. So, we'll keep going. On your left hand side when you come in is the Bank of Ireland branch in Mary Eye. It used to be down near the old canteen but that's been moved and it's going to be here now when you come in. And right next to that <laughs> is our favourite part which is the new SU offices. This is Dave. <laughs> and that's all of our offices down here. And if you keep following on down here, we have loads of new furniture, loads of new comfy couches. For a chance for you to just sit down and relax and there'll be wireless in this building. So you can just hook up your laptop to the internet. And this will be our new student lounge. Just like the rest of the building, there's more to be done before you come back in September, but we hope to get a bit more decoration, a few more things in here before you all come back. And that's the ground floor. And now for the first floor. Backstage area is the first area that we can kind of show you, but not really, cause not important. I know, it is for VIPs though. Coming up here, we have the toilets, Disabled boys, girls. I'll be back in a minute. Refreshed. Stairwell here to the second floor. Not that exciting, but it's a lovely lime green. Coming up here, the main corridor. Full of lecture halls. Uh, nice brand spanking new ones. Much bigger than the ones that we have at the moment. Here is the first of them. Completely, uh, we'll not have these come September. You will get to sit on the seats, not the plastic. Coming right around the corner. Another lecture hall with weird ship shaped windows. Don't know why. This one has 150 seats. Will be used for mixture of classes. Again, the plastic will be gone come September. And this is where the lecture will stand. Coming out here, there's another classroom in there. It too is 150 seats, so it looks the exact same. This is quite cool because, do you know what? I feel like Duncan Stewart about the house. If you come in here, this is quite cool because you're actually into the library building. Familiar? We can't go in there at the moment because they're cleaning the seats and painting and whatnot, making them look nice and tidy. Back down the stairs and we're back into the new tower building. Back into the lovely spacious hallway. And we're going into another classroom, another lecture hall. As the floor goes on, the doors get wider for some reason. This one's quite big. This is 300 seaters, so it's really, really spacious. It's as big as LG9, I suppose. Quite comfy seats as well. They're actually kind of cushioned, so that's quite nice. 300 seater lecture hall. You come back out here, there's a stairwell right there. That is to the second floor. And just out here, we are back to the library building, which is right out there. That's the smoking area uh, where the speaker for Wired FM is. So that is this part of the first floor. We're now gonna shoot over past the central, back 
to the other side of the building. No running in the hallways. That was just me shutting the door. Maria's wig about to me. This is the central area, as Maria just showed you. And just up here is the hallway out into outside. There's a lovely lime tree with a bench. And over long over here is the security office, keeping us safe on campus. Up along here, there's loads of classrooms as well. Note the area crest. Uh, coming along here, yeah, they're all glass walls, uh, classrooms. It hasn't been guaranteed what they're for yet, so we will find out come September. And it's the same all the way along here. There is the side stage entrance to the theatre, which we won't show you just yet, but we will in a while. More classrooms along there, and then here is the backstage entrance to the stage. So close, but not just yet. Uh, as I said, classrooms all along there is another classroom as well. And it also comes with its very own big mirror. And there are the girls. Yeah, how's it going? And if you were thinking, because if you watch CSI and programs like that, mirrors like that are usually double-sided. So yes, you, as you were thinking, they are double-sided. And there's Marid, not knowing we're looking at it. So there's the observation room with their cool CSI mirrors. Coming back out here, back down to the stairwell, that brings you down to the ground floor, which Marid showed you. And here is the lift to the second floor which I'm going into, and with some sort of magic, I'm morphing into Marie. Welcome to floor number two. Okay, here we go. Out this door, this will be above the ob observational room. In here is the most fabulous view, I think, from the entire building. Not sure what this room will be. Chances are, won't be necessarily for students. Might be like a meeting room or something. But I think it has a fantastic view, which I'd like to share with you. See Coleman Park over there too, in the distance. The meadows, <laughs> as it is called. And over this side, you've got the training pitch. You've got the plane pitch, and behind the trees is salt in there. Okay, let's keep going. More classrooms here on the left hand side, as you can see. Interesting design on the wall there. Exact same here again on the left. Here on the right, there's an entrance to the theatre, and up here, that's all natural light. Okay, so follow me. All here on the left hand side is classrooms. Not entirely sure what they're going to be used for yet, but you're all going to know come September. So on down here, more classrooms. There is a stairwell down there. Here is another classroom. And then my favorite part of this floor, the best way to get to the other side, the balcony. Pretty cool. And here we have what I believe would be meeting rooms, I think. But like I said, we'll know come September. And the stairs is back out that way. But more importantly, on this side of this floor, we've connecting rooms the whole way. I think they're going to be education-based classrooms, but we'll see. I hope we can get into one of them. Ta-da! You got your smart board, you got room for all your materials, and the best part is, as I said, they're connecting. So, in here, maybe it's a space between classes to hang out between classrooms. Back in through here. Same again. And this goes the whole way down. We're back out 
steps to the balcony. Finally, the stairwell, and that's the end of floor two. Third floor, let's go. Through this door. All the classrooms along that side are just like the ones Mairead showed you downstairs. Don't really bother looking at them. But, although some people who are a bit afraid of heights may not walk across this little grid here. Because uh, it's just straight down to the first floor. But it does overlook the library building. And it looks the same as it always did. We can go straight down this hallway. Windows into classrooms. Another grid, this time overlooking LG9, kind of. The balcony as well, kind of quite high up. And um, if you're not scared of heights, you're fine. Some offices in there, there's three offices there. Another stairwell, there's plenty of stairs in the building anyway. More toilets, and see a toilet as well. Back out there is the lift and the stairs and a cool door. I quite like this door. I really want to go in this door, but I'm not allowed yet. It's a, it's a door into the lights in the theatre, which you might see later on. Straight across from the door into the lights in the theatre is a meeting room and a brand spanking new medical centre. So that's actually really nice, much better than the one we had. But then we're going to go back up here. Nice little hallway that overlooks that tree again. A nice area. Two doors into the theatre. We will go back in those in a few seconds. Turns out it may be pronounced theatre, not theatre. I'm from Mayo, I don't know. There's another 50 seater classroom in here. There's no seats in it at the moment, but there will be come September. There's another stairwell there as well. Loud bangy doors. More classrooms along here. We know that there will be a psychology computer lab here. That's moving up here from the old building. There's a lovely balcony overlooking that uh, open light area that Marie showed you earlier. With the natural light. I like that. There's another classroom, which, from the looks of it, will have computers. And right out this window, that's the theatre overhanging there which is the next place we're going to, which is probably the best bit of the building. Without a doubt, it really changes the view of Mary Eye. It's really, really modern. We're gonna speed up and go right there. So this is it, Mary Eye's brand new 500-seater theater. Welcome. And see that little white dot down there? That's Marie. I was just talking to him there, he'll be here in like five minutes. Oh really? Yeah. Oh great, cool. Sound. Okay, panic over. <laughs> okay, that concludes the end of our video tour of the new building. I think we ended in the right place. I think so, it's absolutely amazing. 500 seat theatre. Uh, it won't be completely ready for when everybody returns in September, but hopefully it'll be ready sooner rather than later. Yeah, fingers crossed mm. on that one, but who knows, we'll keep you updated on that as well. As you may have guessed, it's pretty big, there's a lot of classrooms, there's a couple of floors, so if you're confused, please log on to mycy.ie and you can download the maps. Yep. Or, um, there's maps as well in the student diary, Yes. so uh, you can always whip that out of your bag and click exactly. through it. And don't be afraid to ask us either, because yeah. it's roaming the halls, because we're probably lost too, and we'll True. all find it together. <laughs> okay. But that is it, uh, before we do leave, we better not forget to turn off the light. Oh yeah, better do that now. Okay, we'll see you we'll later. We'll talk to you soon.